Hello students, good day! Today we are going to study about the special products or multiplying numbers by 10, 100, and 1000 and multiplying numbers by the multiples of 10, 100, and 1000. Let us start with the problem. A construction worker is helping to build a 20-story building. Each floor needs 4,000 bags of cement. How many bags of cement will be used for the entire building? Let us answer the problem step by step. First, let us identify what is the problem all about. In this problem, it is asking about the total bags of cement that will be used for the entire building. What are the given facts or numbers? So we have 20 story building and 4,000 bags for each floor. Now, what is the operation that we are going to use to solve the problem? Okay, you are right. It's multiplication. So we are going to multiply the two numbers. And so the number sentence for this problem is written as 4,000 times 20 is equal to n. Let us solve the numbers. So first, multiply the non-zero digit. So we have 4 and 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Then count the number of zeros for each number or factor. So we have 3 zeros in 4,000 and 1 zero in 20. And that makes up four zeros in total. So we will add four zeros on the right side of eight, and that would make a number of 80,000. Okay, so for the 20 story building, we will need 80,000 bags of cement. Now, let us learn on how to multiply numbers by 10, by 100, and by 1,000. So if we multiply a whole number by a 10, Rewrite the number and add one zero at the end. If we multiply by 100, rewrite the number and add two zeros at the end. If we multiply by 1000, rewrite the number and add three zeros at the end. Now let's have each multiplier one by one. Okay, let's have multiplying by 10. So we have 6 times 10, that is equal to 6 tenths. Okay, so if we have 6 tenths, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, so when we multiply 6 and 10, that is equivalent to 60. As you can see, in 60, we have 1, 0. Okay? So, in multiplying numbers by 10, just copy the number and then add 1, 0 at the end of the number. Now, let's have an example in multiplying numbers by 100 so for example we have 5 times 100 it means we have five hundreds or five groups of 100 okay so we have 100 200 300 400 and 500 so again, 5 times 100 is equal to 500. In 500, we have two zeros. So in multiplying numbers by 100, the shortcut method is write the number, then add two zeros at the end of that number. Okay? Now, let's have multiplying numbers by 1,000. So, for example, we have 4 times 1,000 is equivalent to 4,000. As you can see in our illustration, we have 4 groups of 1,000. So, 4 times 1,000 is equal to 4,000 wherein you can see 3 zeros. So, in multiplying numbers by 1,000, simply copy the number then add three zeros at the end of the number, like what is shown in our examples, okay? 
Let us proceed in multiplying numbers by multiples of 10, 100, and 1000. So in multiplying numbers by multiples of 10, 100, and 1000, we multiply the non-zero digits of the factors, then add as many zeros to the product as there are in the factors. Okay, to understand it clearly, let us have our examples. So here, we have this number. So multiply the non-zero digits, we have 81 times 6, that is 486. Since we have two zeros in our factors, just write it at the end of 486. So the answer is 48,600. Now let's have the next example. Multiply the non-zero digits, we have 4 times 8, that's 32. Since we have three zeros in the factors, just add three zeros at the end of 32. That would make the answer of 32,000. Let's have the next example. 400 times 50. 4 times 5 is 20. Since we have three zeros in the factors, just add it at the end of 20. So that will make 20,000. Okay, see, it's easy to do. Next, let's have 9,000 times 3,000. 9 times 3 is 27. Since we have 6 zeros in the factors, just add it at the end of 27. And that would make an answer of 27 million. Okay, next, let's have 60 times 120. 12 times 6 is equal to 72. Since we have two zeros in the factors, add it at the end of 72. And that would make a number of 7,200. Okay, let's have the last example. 4,000 times 90. 4 times 9 is 36. Since we have four zeros in the factors, we will just add it at the end of 36. And that would make an answer of 360,000. So that's all about special products.